One big call.
do not grow tired of doing good. And if you love me, you will obey and be shown the way that I've shown you and you'll go in that direction. So I tell the apostles all the time, no matter what your situation is and no matter what you're going through, remember God is testing you. He's watching you. How are you moving? It's easy for us to say and blame this and blame that and blame this and blame that. But my question will never be, what did someone else do to you? My question will be, how did you react? What did you do? Because, see, God is watching in which way you're walking. <coughs> A word to the church. Now, as David withstood Goliath, so do these also resist the devil. People of God, unwavering when it concerns the faith. Thus saith the Lord, look at those who belong to the will of Satan, who claim to be godly but are liars instead. I will make them come and bow down at your feet. And they will know that I love you because you have kept my command to endure with patience. Therefore, I will also keep you from the hour of tribulation that is about to come upon this whole world and attest those who are left behind on this earth. Behold, I am coming soon. Hold fast to what you have so that you do not lose your crown. Amen. 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 Thus said the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to everyone, especially to the family of faith. For the wicked shall earn an empty wage, but they who sow righteousness shall reap a true reward. Therefore, come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest, and you will find rest for your soul. Because those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. And this gospel of the kingdom is a testimony to all the nations that if we endure, we will also reign with him. But if we deny him, he will also deny us. For the Lord knows how to rescue the godly from trials and to hold the unrighteous for punishment on the day of judgment. Therefore, Everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. And they that have no money, come ye, buy and eat. Yes, come. Come as you are, without money and without price. For the time has come, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> A word to the church. Now as Jonah cried out in the belly of that great fish, so also do, do those who carry the burden of the Lord people of God unwavering when it concerns the faith, they shall all be rewarded with everlasting life. Thus saith the Lord, do not fear what you are about to suffer. Look, the devil is seeking to destroy many. Some of you will falter when tested, and some will suffer tribulation for many days. But be ye faithful even unto death, and I will give you the crown of life. For blessed are the peacemakers, who are persecuted because of righteousness, because theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they when people insult them, persecute them, and falsely say all kinds of evil against them because of their commitment to God. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you, so also so they also come against you because of your righteousness. Thus saith the Lord of heaven's armies, look at what's happening to you. Though many are your trials and your suffering has been great, especially as the time of tribulation draws near and near each day. For the foolish say in their heart, there is no God, but they who have believed on Christ shall remain faithful <coughs> until the end. <coughs> Therefore the Lord said, the hypocrites draw near to me with their mouths and honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Their worship of me is but rules taught by men. They worship me in vain. They teach us doctrine and precepts of men. Listen and understand. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And the one who loves me will be loved by my Father. And I will love them and reveal myself to them. In fact, this is love for God. To keep his commands. And his commands are not burdensome. 
if you love me. And his commands are not burdensome, for everyone born of God overcomes the world. How many times have we said in our trials and in our suffering, I'm so tired I can't do this no more. But the Lord said, if you love me, you will keep my commands, and they are not burdensome. That means they're not so heavy, you can't continue to carry what you're carrying. He said, because everyone born of me overcomes the world. That means you overcome your situation, your circumstance, your flesh, whatever you got going on is trying to turn you away from continuing to obey God. That is the one thing the devil wants for every single one of us. And we're so close to the end right now, he can smell it. He can taste it. He knows when you wonder why you're going through such the hardest times you have gone through in your life, it's not just because your age or where you're at. We're going through the same thing. He's just putting it in a different way and in a different order. Every single one of God's children right now are going through. Think about this now. The ones that have already passed and died, they went through so much. We've seen them heads chopped off, being hanged. Anytime they even proclaimed the fact that they were following Jesus, they died. Look at what happened to Moses and look at what happened to the Israelites. Look at what happened to Adam and Eve. You can go all the way back and you'll see, man, some of those things I never wanted to go through. You mean to tell me by the grace of God, all I got to do is accept Jesus Christ and then follow him and serve him and worship him and praise him. And that's one of the hardest things to do in these days of time because we are living in a time that no one else has ever lived in since the days of Noah. So if you wonder why, Lord, why am I going through so much right now? Stop compartmentalizing yourself and saying it's just you. It is every single one of us because this generation is the most corrupt generation that has ever been on this planet Earth. Everything we're going through is so hard right now because we are right there. The finish line is right there. We just can't see it, but it's right there. And God's message continually to me over and over again is, is whatever you do, do not give up. You are so close. In our troubles, let us call on God because he cares for us. Amen? Amen? No matter what is happening, remember, he will never leave you. He will never forsake you, especially when times are tough. Do not become overworried about anything, but in every situation, by prayer, and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. God tells us in he's already answered everything for us. You know, I, I, I've often said, you know, and, and I listen to some of the apostles when they come home from work and they tell me about this co-worker or that co-worker. They, they, they can't receive instruction. You can tell them over and over and over again. You can write it down. You can have it by the letter. Here's what I need you to do. And it can be right in front of them. But yet when you come back the next day, you look and they haven't completed anything. Or they did it in the way that they wanted to do it. When I told you to do this, but you did that. And I told you to do this this way, but you did that. And all God wants us to do is follow instruction. Pastor Lisa said something earlier. And I will always say this. God gave you instruction for your good. For your good. He didn't just put it out there and say, this is what I want. He said, no, this is going to be perfect for you. It's going to be hard. But if you do this by the letter, you will not go wrong. Why? Because he's standing over you and he won't let you go wrong. He said, if you do it this way, you may look at it and say, Lord, this is too hard. But if you do it any other way, you might die. You do it any other way, you might hurt someone else. You do it any other way, you may displease God. He's trying to give you something that you have in front of you by the letter that you say, Lord, if I can't do nothing else, I'm blind, I can't see. He said, well, can you hear? Yeah, I hear, Lord. He said, well, didn't I tell you to obey me? Didn't I already show you the way? Yes, Lord. Well, then go in that way. What well, is hard to understand about that. So when you get down on your luck and when you're tired and when you say, I can't no more, and he say, you get your strength from me. And you say, but Lord, I don't have no strength right now. He said, well, why aren't you even praying to me right now? Why are you complaining more than you're praying? Well, Lord, that's all my flesh want to do right now. I'm too tired to pray. No, you're not. You're not too tired to open up your mouth. We 
We got to think about these things, y'all. A lot of times what we do is put our own foot in our own mouth and we can't even breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. You say, get your foot out your mouth. Remember what I have shown you. This is the only way you're going to make it. But when you get there, when you get there, you're going to receive something you didn't even you didn't you didn't even work for this. What we got getting ready to happen to us, trust me, there's no way we could have done this by ourselves if it wasn't for Christ. But we have to accept the fact that we can't just sit here and say that we're people of God, but not walk in the way He's shown us. You can't sit there and, and why would you trust that? There are too many people this day, and we're so close to the finish line that they walk in. One foot over here, one foot over there. There ain't no man and there ain't no woman on this planet right now that I can tell you that's either died or living right now that can tell you, even if they believe it or not, they're never going to make it to heaven because of their own way. You can't do this your own way. God has already set it out for us. And he's trying to protect us. Because the enemy, even though right now I can look and all I can see is human beings walking around here, y'all just like me. Some people say, oh, I can see ghosts. Well, you're seeing evil spirits there. God gave you an eye to see that. That's not a ghost. It's not a human. But I'm telling you now, the enemy and demons and everything else is running around out here right now. We can't even see them. And they're just waiting to catch us. Waiting to catch us alone. Separate us from God. Cause us to doubt him. And then say, now, woe is me. Look at me, flesh. And we forget about God. And we can't forget about him. He's the only thing that's holding us together. We take together with the Holy Spirit. We glue together with the Holy Spirit. Anything can fall apart at any minute. People are dying way younger than us. They had a couple of deaths last week. People ain't got no medical problems. And look at us. You got to wonder yourself, how come we're still standing? How come we're still living and breathing? It ain't because we decided to get up today and do something good for someone else. It's because God decided that he was going to keep us alive. So let's hold on. Be encouraged. That if you don't know, well, I don't know whether or not God is for me. I can tell you right now he is because I'm looking at you. He got to be for you. What else else good are we? Can we say we're worth anything? Well, I do this, I'm this, I'm that. You know, we used to have the titles. We used to have the good jobs to pay good money. Or, oh, I do this, I do that. That ain't the reason why you're alive. None of that matters. It's because God loves you so much. And in return, all he do is ask you to love him back. Amen? Amen? So we need to keep that on our hearts. Instead of thinking about what we need today, instead of looking at what we want today, let's look at how we can be pleasing to our Lord who loves us so much that he's particularly put his hand on you to hold you, to keep you from things that can hurt you and harm you, and to give you life so that all you got to do is, even if you roll by somebody else, say, man, God is so good. I don't care what they look at you like. Well, it don't look like it. I'm walking and you're sitting in a wheelchair. That don't matter. That does not matter. Because what you got is a treasure far greater than any rich man could ever have in his life. And that's Jesus Christ. Keep holding on to him. Keep believing in him. Like I said, we're right here at the finish line, y'all. That's why it's getting so tough now. Don't give up now. How do they say I come too far? Nobody told me that the road was going to be easy. Bless the Lord. Thank y'all and happy Mother's Day to each one of y'all. I pray y'all have a blessed weekend. You make sure you watch Quit Falling. Don't you fall. <coughs> Can you hear me? Mm -hmm.